Hey guys, it's Roshi. So I'm going to try a little bit of a Hi Gracie. A little bit of a new um, editing style in this video. So I do hope you like it. And this is, I think this is kind of how I want my videos to be. This is, I, I had sound effects and things like that when I first started YouTube. And I thought it was really fun and funny. And um, it's just a little bit more of my style and my personality kind of comes out with it. So I hope that you guys like it. Um, but yes, today I'm going to be doing a newborn essentials video, a newborn must have video. So I want to talk to you about products that we, my husband and I, used for our little boy. And um, the like the real products that we use not just things that um everyone recommends um and then they just kind of get piled in the corner um like these are actual things that we used um with our baby maze so i'm going to start with um the most favorite thing my most favorite thing and that is this little nose device so there's this little tube and the little um I guess suction cuppy thingy here um, but basically you suck on this side you put this like not in their nostril but just like right outside of it and it sucks the boogers right out I know that the most popular one is called the nose Frida but I found this one um, and it was cheaper than the nose Frida nose Frida um, and yeah I I've got my money's worth I've been using this for five months almost and I love it. It's really my favorite thing. <laughs> I love sucking my baby's um, nose boogers out with this thing. So um, yeah, and, and yeah, you don't eat the boogers or anything. They don't come into your mouth because there is this little stopper and um, yeah, it stops the actual boogers from coming in and yeah, you just need to clean it out and uh, I did his little nose today and I did not clean it out yet so I will be doing that soon okay so the first thing is this nose thingy um, and I will leave all the links to the products that I use down below the second thing is nail tr uh, a nail trimmer so everyone has this little nail cutter um, it usually comes with little packs that you get um, just for baby stuff but it's these little tiny nail trimmers and for a little tiny baby it is scary <laughs> cutting their nails with this and their nails are sharp they are very very sharp so um yeah these were just like not gonna happen until now freaking crazy um, but yeah, so I use these now when, and he's four and a half months now. So this is what I use. But before that we used this one. Isn't that funny? Isn't it cool? But basically you, it has this little, little head, like filer. It's a filer, but it's electronic and has all these different levels on it. And it has a little light on it. So when you... I don't know if you can really see it, but it has a little flashlight on it, and so it's pretty cool to use, and you can get the exact little nail thingy, um, or the little nail. The only thing with this is the, it's kind of hard to get the sides of the nail, and so those still end up being a little sharp. Um, maybe it's just me, and I wasn't able to get them, but yeah. I liked this especially when he was so small because it was very very hard to trim his nails um, with the cutter and so this filer just helped a lot um, and little baby nails are sharp my baby like he literally scratched his face when he was first born I'll try to find a picture and insert it here but it was so sad seeing him like scratch his face so yeah having something to help with the nails 
really helps. So that also brings me to my next thing, which is a onesie that is not only zip up and down, but has the little mittens on it. And I did show that in my, um, like what I had in my hospital bag, but I'll try to also insert a picture. And, and I will link that onesie set that I got down below as well. But um, yeah, that one, is so amazing because the mittens help so much it's just amazing to not have to trim their nails if you don't have to and just put the little mittens over their um, hand and you do get a lot of fuzz and stuff in between their fingers that you have to clean out but at the same time it takes out that um, I guess like scariness of having to cut their nails and you not having to do that especially when they're so small um like every day so because their nails grow fast and so yeah um that little onesie set was amazing i think it came with four of them and he used them from it was zero to three and i think he used them all the way up to three months so um yeah i'll even try to fit, put a picture of him wearing one of them it's so cute but yeah and he was so small before but yeah he does not fit in those anymore and he does not need the little minions anymore um at four and a half months but he definitely did when he was a newborn too like three months old um yeah so there's that and then this little brush here and coconut oil the reason why i say coconut oil and this little brush is because if your baby gets cradle cap and my baby did get cradle cap um it is pretty gnarly to see them with their head and the dry skin and everything that happens um and i mean you definitely want to consult your doctor because i know that there's a lot of allergies that kids have and things like that my baby was fine with coconut milks uh, <laughs> No, milk uh, milk uh coconut oil so we use coconut oil on his head um because the baby oil actually didn't react well with his skin so um yeah coconut oil did and then what we would do is we'd rub the coconut oil on his head and then comb it with this specific comb because this is the one that was able to get the little cradle uh, cradle cap uh flakes off of him um off of his head um, the other one also did, but that was once, like, we knew that that skin was just kind of sitting on top of his head. It wasn't, um, like, healing or anything. And you want to definitely, like, talk to your doctor about that. But for us, it, his got to a point where we literally could just kind of um, rub our fingers on his cradle cap flakes like this, and they would come off. So, yeah, that's kind of what we used uh when our baby had cradle cap all right so the other thing i want to talk about is diapers so these are the only kind of diapers we use and there's a reason for them so this is the pampers um diaper that we use my baby is in a size three now um but he definitely did start off with size zero uh like the newborn size and they're now looking back at it those are so small and he cannot fit in them they're literally like half of this um but yeah the reason why i like these diapers and i think the huggies has them as well but i personally do like pampers um is this i don't know if you can even see it there's this little yellow line right there sorry about my nails by the way i have not been able to get to them um but yeah so this little line right here um when he pees it turns blue so if he's in his little onesie or whatever he's wearing i just need to put it to the side and see if his diaper is blue and then i know to change him or not the other thing is when he does have a poopy diaper i just smell his butt um like i just lift him up and and obviously i get a whiff of poop or not and uh he is a pretty loud farter so he has a specific rhythm of fart <laughs> that he has while he's pooping and so that's how we know that he's pooped but um yeah this is especially good when they're little and you they wake up and you don't know whether to change them or not this is just so helpful because yeah this is how you know if they need a diaper change or not Alrighty, so that's that and boppies 
So for any women who are breastfeeding, this boppy is amazing, but this boppy is great for a lot of other things as well. So um, with this one, I would use it to breastfeed. I would put it around me like this, and because he was so small, he would just lay on the side right here or here, and then he would um, I would nurse him. Otherwise, I would lay him on this area right here and then nurse him that way as well, but I did use this to nurse him when he was young. Um, and... What else can you, oh and also now that he's sitting um i just put the boppy around him like this and he's able to kind of sit on his own without falling over there actually is this little thing right here and it shows all the things that a baby can do with this boppy and it says for, it's for feeding it's for propping them up it's for tummy time and for sitting so yeah tummy time is really cool with this too because when you put your baby on his tummy right here he just kind of you know looks around and it's it's just cool especially when we put maze on his uh, on his tummy he likes to look at all of the pattern right here and he likes to like point at the um the bears and the trees and everything so it's kind of nice having one with print because they start to recognize all the shapes and everything um but yeah, I really like this boppy and we still use it right now because of the fact that we can use it for tummy time and propping him up and sitting him up and yeah, it's just it's just cool. So yeah, love this boppy. We also had this boppy lounger, which we used a ton when he was little. Oh my gosh. So ugh. this boppy right here. So this lounger, um, we used to just have him chill and sit on it um and he actually even did take some naps on it i know that there is a little like disclaimer on there that says not to have them nap on there or sleep on there but maze did like fall asleep on this um every once in a while and um we just kind of let him because he he loved it he really did and so um yeah we used this and then um the other thing we did with this is I think that's it like he just he just would lay on it there's another one that for this one that you feed um, it's called like my breast friend and I used that when I went to the doctors I remember I think he was he had like a hearing screen um, and so while they were doing that I had him propped up on my best my breast friend and I was nursing him while they checked his ears and stuff but um yeah so that one was really cool too but I I don't have that one I just have these boppies Okay, next thing is a fleece blanket um, So and swaddles. So here's the thing. You do get a swaddle blanket when you leave the hospital, and I'm sure that a bunch of people are going to give you swaddle blankets. Even like the little gift packs that you get from Target or anything like that will have some sort of um, swaddle blanket in it. Um, we did get like this muslin uh, swaddle blanket um, with one of our sets, and so we have a ton of swaddle blankets. The other thing that people would give us were fleece blankets. So after Maze got to a certain point, we stopped using the swaddle blankets and we used the fleece blankets. Yes, the last few things are a baby monitor, which I'm watching my baby on right now. Um, and this one is from Baby Sense and I got it off of Amazon, so I will link it down below. We did not have a baby monitor in the beginning when um, we first had him. He would honestly like sleep on us and uh, <laughs> that was very difficult because we couldn't really do much once he was asleep on us unless we put him on the bumpy. Um, but still, we didn't really like leave his side or anything like that. Um, so having this baby monitor is very helpful. Um, I have the video and sound on it and um, we got it with two wires. So if he's in the crib, I can just connect the little camera to that one or if he's in the bed, I can connect the camera to that one or wherever he is, um, I can just connect in two different places and then watch him and listen to him um, on this baby monitor so I recommend this one I really like it um, the only thing is that the camera does have to be plugged in um, to like a wire like it's not like a portable one um, so that's the only thing but I, I like it it's it's been really good for us and um, yeah it just helps quite a bit um, so yeah baby monitor the other thing is a bassinet 
So Maze does not sleep in his crib right now very much, but he did sleep in his bassinet a lot. So especially during nighttime, um, he co-sleeps with us now, but for the first three months, he slept in his bassinet um, and that thing was amazing. I believe the one that we had was from Graco. I will put a picture in or just link it down below for you guys. But uh, yeah, that bassinet was amazing. And he also um, loves his binky. And the binky that he has is actually from the Dollar Tree. Um, his aunt got it from him. It's one with Chase on it. I'll try to insert a picture. But um, yeah, it Chase from Paw Patrol. <laughs> but yeah, so um, we love that one because we ha we just got another one because the other one that he had, like Chase, is wiped off now from there um it completely faded away so you don't even know what was on there anymore but um yeah so he has another one that has the chase from paw patrol on it and um he just loves that binky we've tried a lot of different ones or pacifier um but yeah we've tried a lot of different ones and he just seems to really like that one the other one that he does like that he just started liking is the wubbanub so he has one with a giraffe on the end and uh he does really like that one and yeah so we give that one to him the only thing is he pulls the giraffe and so when he pulls the giraffe his binky obviously comes out of his mouth um and so when i do put him to sleep or anything i don't give him the wubbanub i always give him just the little like round binky um just so that he can uh not pull that out of his mouth while he's sleeping um so yeah there's that and oh last but not least um is going to be the Moby wrap. So I got this from my um, sister-in-law. She gave it to me and before that, Brooks and I were using the carriers. We were using the Ergo baby carrier and then there's also an in Infanter one that we got or something, in Infometer or something. something. But they were both gifts that was well and they're great. But once I used the Moby wrap, my life changed because it is so comfortable not only for me but i feel like it's so much more comfortable for my baby as well um but yeah so i will see you guys in the next video all right bye